you can easily change the background of your scene by going into your main camera and you can change this from skybox to solid color then you can change the background color to any color you want hey welcome back everyone in this third tutorial we are going to make our camera able to follow our player when he's moving forward so without further ado let's get started so let's start by creating a new c-sharp script for our main camera under the scripts folder let's create c-sharp script we are going to call this camera controller then drag and drop the script to our main camera double click to open it in visual studio first we are going to declare some new variables go over here and the first one will be our player so public transform we need just the transform of the player and let's call this target and the second parameter will be uh, the offset between our player and the camera and let's make this private and let's call this offset and it's going to be a vector 3 now to get the offset we are going to initialize it to the default offset between the camera and the player using transform dot position minus the target position using target dot position now in the update method for each frame we are going to calculate the new position for our camera so it can uh, follow our player and let's declare a vector 3 and let's call this new position it's going to be equal to a new vector 3 for the x and the y we are going to leave them the same because we don't uh, need to make our camera follow our player along the x and the y axis that's why we are going to put it to the transform dot position dot x the same thing for the y but for the z we are going to put it to the offset dot z plus the target dot position dot z now we need to assign this new position variable to the transform of our main camera using transform dot position equals to the new position semicolon now let's save this and go back into unity select the main camera and over here we have the new variable target go ahead and drag and drop the player into this target let's test the game now you see that uh, the camera is following our player along the z-axis now we are going to add a little bit of smoothness when the camera is following our player and we can do this by changing the update method to the late update let's use the late update instead and it's going to be called after the update method so when the player updates its position the camera will follow him using the late update and this is going to add a little bit of smoothness then we can change this statement using vector3.lerp so let's change this to vector3.lerp and we are going to uh, go from the transform dot position to the new position and for the third parameter let's use uh, 10 multiplied by the time the data time now save this so that you can see the difference over here now you see the main camera is following our player with a little bit of smoothness and yeah 
So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it down. And uh, have a great day. Thank you.